Uh, so who's the what's actress? internal fa- I mean, internal family systems. I mean, like you have to bring in your whole family to therapy. I don't know. Another uh, one. Uh, oh, we're really rolling. <laughs> yeah. okay. a- internal family systems uh, best be characterized as having your own internal family of what we call parts or sub personalities. So mm-hmm. that people who say there's a part of me who wants to do this, but another part of me wants to do that is is an example of internal family systems where um, and the work of internal family systems is learning how to live comfortably and at peace with our own parts in our person, uh, different aspects of our personality. And you're so yeah. yeah, so when you say there's a when you lay awake at night worrying about work the next day and you can't get to sleep, you usually think of that as a part that is, uh, is triggered in you that uh, that has kind of taken control of of you in that moment. And, and so what we try to do with internal family systems is help uh, that part calm down so that um, so that what's known as the self can come into uh, into a leadership position and then you system relax you go back to sleep Ooh. that kind of thing yeah I can't just get rid of the part because I really don't like it no you can't get rid of the part but you can certainly help that part give it what it needs uh, similar to a family makeup where you don't look to get rid of your children uh, um, and perhaps you can help your children get what they need in a, in a healthy way so that uh, so that they feel better so that so the entire family uh, functions better. Oh, interesting. But I uh, see so you're the brother of the man that in event wrote the book. Correct. My brother Richard Schwartz uh, is the is the founder and creator of the model internal family systems. Just a year ago, I came on as the executive director of the Center for Self Leadership, which is the company that. Uh, does uh, the, does the trainings for people to learn about internal family systems and sells the books on it, puts on events for it. That kind of thing. Mm, wow! And um, Shelly, are, are you are you a practitioner of IFS? Yes, I am. Oh, and how did you come to decide to do that? I decided to do that because I um, started some therapy doing it. So I came in that way, doing my own work using the system mm. and found it really helpful. Mm-hmm. So from there decided to go on and learn more about it mm. and wanted to, as a, yeah, wanted to make that, uh, learn more about it, mm-hmm. having experienced it. And then mm-hmm. um, found that that was a paradigm that works best for me for what mm-hmm. had been working for me and, and my work as a nurse and therapist and, and just the way I do the world. Mm-hmm. And how about your um, patients? I mean, have they experienced what's their experience? Um, their experience is, I'd say overall, a softening, a spaciousness, an acceptance mm. of mm. themselves. Um, it's different with each person mm-hmm. and how they respond to this. Mm-hmm. Some people um, really take to it right away, mm-hmm. and um, others struggle with it a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, but ultimately, it slows them down in a way, mm-hmm. and just that alone gives them the um, opportunity. And, mm. and, and, yeah, spaciousness, uh, friendliness mm. with themselves. With the friendliness so, yeah, with themselves, so yeah. Yeah, mm. yeah. Huh. So sometimes, you know, the change, transformation, what they're looking for can happen quickly, depending yeah. on where they are. Sometimes yeah. it happens slowly. Oh. Um, so. Wow. And how would it be different from, say, another ther- kind of therapy, like lying on a couch and... Oh. Talking about your memories, or yeah. Huh. Um, it's a 
good question. How would that be different? I suppose in one sense is how the therapist is in relationship, mm. probably with the client. Mm -hmm. that, um, you know, it's uh, very collaborative. Mm -hmm. um, as a therapist for that, you know, I'm involved with the client mm -hmm. on, the, on the journey. Mm -hmm. I don't have the answers. Mm -hmm. or right. Or when I, mm -hmm. I might have an inkling, mm -hmm. but it's mm -hmm. really... Client has the answers. Most of the way I've been working has been along that line, anyway, mm -hmm. um, where that's what's most comfortable mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. me. So it's, uh, you know, certainly uh, memories come up, um, and I'm not as familiar with that mm -hmm. type of therapy, mm -hmm. so probably not mm -hmm. the best one mm -hmm. to answer that. Mm -hmm. Does it mean I have to be in therapy for years and years and go over all? Okay, it might. It's, you don't it's, know. It could, don't know. It could be. Right. But what the beauty of it is you can take it with you. Mm -hmm. So you're not, and maybe that's the difference. The right. client isn't as dependent on the therapist. Right. That with this model, the client can walk out of there, mm -hmm. out of the office, and keep using this model. So. Yeah. So the first book to read, if you wanted to know more, would be what? As a client or a therapist? Yeah, no, a client. As a client, as I would uh, recommend the, the in introduction to mm -hmm. IFS for clients. There's uh, also the parts book, okay. Tom Holmes, which is great. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I had one other. I had a, I had a question for Rob. Yeah. Rob, you, you're, you're, you're a business consultant. You're not a therapist. That's correct. Um, but you're seeing. That was your funny question. That's no. <laughs> but what? But it, doesn't it? Does it feel to you? You know enough about IFS through your wife Shelley to feel that there's some applications in terms of lead, the leadership that that um, John was talking about. How would? How how do you see that happening? John was talking about parts that might be reacting, and sometimes action is extreme action. Uh, if you think about the context of the business, is that you need people coming together, dealing with some very challenging issues, mm -hmm. and producing something of value for society, for their clients. Mm -hmm. And when you have leaders, and I'll tell you particularly mm -hmm. at the leadership mm -hmm. level, mm -hmm. who are struggling with their own parts, it's very hard to get mm -hmm. real collaboration, mm -hmm. real value, real mm -hmm. results. Mm -hmm. What would be an example? Oh, the CEO that is so focused on their own nervousness, their own anxiety, mm -hmm. that then the staff is really there to support the CEO and their anxiety mm -hmm. as opposed to really dealing with the, the issues of the business, mm -hmm. the issues mm -hmm. of the clients. Mm -hmm. So, um, John, could, if that's, how could Center for Self Leadership, say, help someone deal with the anxiety that's taken over the company that Rob's talking about? Well, um, through working with the model, somebody in a leadership position, being in a leader position, leadership position naturally invites, uh, the, it's where the most responsibility lies, it's where the most freedom lies. Mm -hmm. That in and of itself creates such an awful lot of potential for anxiety um, and working with employees, working with contractors, working with anybody that you deal with uh, who's looking to you for answers, mm -hmm. it's very important that how that is presented back to those people is done in what we call a self-led way mm -hmm. so that rather than being led from that part that is very upset or anxious or, uh, or afraid or angry. Mm -hmm. um, we help. We would help a leader um, learn how to manage their own system, so that when they go to work with other people, in that mm -hmm. way, they're not coming from a from a, a part of them that is strictly mm -hmm. authoritarian, or a part mm -hmm. of them that is uh, avoidant, uh, and that what they 